This is a short film I have made regarding my latest kitbash project. Kitbashing is a term used for taking existing model kits and mixing and matching them to create something new. Sometimes kits may be rated for the smallest details and these are often added to original designs of spaceships seen in movies. Most famous is probably the ships in Star Wars, the Millennium Falcon, the Star Destroyers, all have lots of small pieces of kits added to the detail, which are then weathered to make the things look realistic. This technique of super detailing science fiction models was used on 2001 A Space Odyssey in 1968. But the first kit bashing was done by Derek Metting's special effects team on Thunderbirds in 1965. Into the original craft, Lots of guest vehicles or guest aircraft would be made by taking the fuselage from one plane and the wings from another and maybe some missiles or drop tanks from somewhere else. Different kits were mixed and mashed and bashed together to create something new. I was basing my aircraft on the de Havilland Mosquito, which was a fighter bomber used extensively in World War II. And to my eye, is one of the best looking aircraft ever made. jet-powered, more modern, stick sci-fi version that basically used the same shape and proportions because I know it looked good. One thing I did know is I did want the plane to be jet-powered. So in addition to needing a mosquito as a basis, I wanted to use the nose in either a Lightning or a MiG-21. The central cone at the front mimics the propeller spinner on the original mosquito. To keep things manageable and to keep the costs down, I decided to use a 170 second scale mosquito as my base, in this case the Airfix model. From building kits in the past I had a good idea of how big the different planes would be in their different scales so I knew what to buy with a rough idea of how things would go together. I didn't know exactly how the parts would break down within the kits but again I had a reasonable idea. Okay. First thing I took all the parts off the sprues. I separated the parts into a box of fuselage pieces. Unlike regular modeling, where you have a design or plans to follow, I was designing as I went along. So it was more like sketching or sculpting a box of wings and tail planes and tail fins. Though I wasn't following the kits per the instructions, it's good to keep the instructions around because they do tell you how the pieces are supposed to go together. Wheels, and other possible small detail accessories like cockpit interiors, some smaller, more aerodynamic body parts, clear pieces, the decals from the different kits. With all my pieces laid out, I started construction. Again, as the mosquito was the basis, I started putting the major parts together. I started with the fuselage. In order for the lightning intakes to fit neatly onto the engine nacelles of the mosquito, I needed to widen the engines. I cut small inserts out of balsa wood that went between the two engine halves from the kit. This widened them enough so that the front was approximately the same diameter as the lightning nose. I sanded the wood to fit, lots of test fitting and some putty to make it work. So I took the mosquito wings and cut them off outside of the engines. And then I attached the P-51 wings to line up with the mosquito wing that I had. I like the fact that it accentuated the difference between the width of the wing at the fuselage where the air intake is and then the abruptly narrower wing beyond the engine. I like that on the mosquito so I wanted to reproduce that here. I wasn't quite sure what to do with the tail area. I test fitted several pieces to see how it looked. Again from my array of kit parts I had lots of things to choose from but again like the wings they are a little rounded and a little old-fashioned looking. So what it ended up doing with, I took a tail fin from a MiG-23 kit and put that on in place of the mosquito's tail fin. And then I built up a sort of engine type business section underneath the fuselage towards the back. As you can see, right now it doesn't have any tail fit planes. I may add something later on, but I don't think so. I think this is looking pretty good. I've used regular plastic cement wherever I'm joining parts together that should go together, like the fuselage halves from the mosquito kit with its locating pins. Anywhere where I'm putting something where it isn't supposed to go and there isn't really an attachment point, I've used super glue. I added some drop tanks from the, from the 
Mustang, in fact two halves of one drop tank, to the tops of the engines above the wings. As far as the engines are concerned, I did originally try to extend them and then attach the intakes. I was doing this with some washers and other round shapes and some putty and it just didn't look good. It looked clumsy. So I scrapped that and converted basically back to a Mosquito engine with a lightning nozzle on the front. And that brings us to the end of part one. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, send them to me. And part two, we'll finish up with painting and weathering and final detailing and deckling. Thanks a lot. Bye.